Hello, uh, kids and instructors. My name is Harrison Miller. I'm here to teach you how to look like you're good at golf. This is for people who don't want to practice because it's a waste of time. Uh, you'll never be good at golf. The only thing you can really do is just get people to believe that you know what you're doing. Uh, first, we should start with your appearance. White pants are a surefire way to uh, lower your appearance handicap by just a few shots. Just stay away from cargo shorts. Your balls should be good golf balls. Try to stay away from playing pinnacles, top flights. Um, a well-worn visor can also do wonders. Some people who do have visor heads can wear visors and look good doing it. For the golf bag, um, try to keep at least one towel on your bag. You probably won't ever use it. Also, make sure you have head covers. Never, never put a putter in your bag without a head cover. Never put a driver or a wood club in your bag without a head cover. And most importantly, never put an iron in your bag with a head cover on it. Now let's move to the green. First things first, never wear a glove while you're putting. It's a really old school move and something you're never gonna see out of good players nowadays. Nice putt. Um, to give the illusion that you're a good putter, um, a good step before the ball gets to the hole can go a long way. A nice step in to really let everyone know that you know you hit a good putt before the ball actually went in. This is not to be confused, however, with the step that you take immediately when you know that you've missed the putt. So. A couple rules about when you pick the ball up out of the hole. Make sure you have one leg planted on the ground and the other leg not on the ground. Um, anyone that bends over to pick the ball out of the hole with two feet on the ground either better be a girl or over the age of 75. Is anyone 75 nearby? No? Okay, good. Now let's take it to approach shots. Remember, our goal here is not to improve your scores, but to make people think that you shoot good scores in the first place. And the way we do this is by um, never being satisfied with a golf shot. Always act like your shot should have been way better than it was. I don't care if this thing hits off the pin. I don't care if it lips out. You will, you will never be satisfied with your shot. It'll make you look a lot better. If you do happen to hit a bad shot and somebody sees it, a tip for me would be to blame the lie. You would not believe the lie. Dude, we're playing it. Another move you're going to want to work on is the club twirl. A good club twirl after a shot will make it look like you've done it before. Also, before you hit a shot, um, check the wind, yardage, lie, where the pin is. Um, you're not going to use this information, but it does make it look like you have an idea of what's going on, what you're doing, what you want the shot to do, even though your real goal is just to make contact and not whiff. But finally, we'll do tee shots. Uh, this is a very good place to really focus your energy because it's going to be your first impression. It's the first shot anyone sees you've hit. A good starting point for tee shots is jump in front of everybody. It doesn't matter if they made a birdie on the hole before that. There are people that tell you it's bad luck to jump in front of a birdie. Those people are losers. Rehearse some kind of movement before you hit your shot. Uh, it doesn't matter what the movement is. It just makes it look like you kind of know what's going on. Something that you know that you need to work on. A couple more rules to follow. Never finish a shot and then hold the club in the right hand. I know it sounds stupid, but it just looks really dumb. Also, never bend over to pick a ball up unless it's already in the hole. Practice picking up balls with your wedges and putter. Um, and if the ball is in the hole, do not use your putter to dig the ball out of the cup. Uh, one piece of equipment that's often overlooked is the yardage book holder. Um, it is very effective in making it look like you're a good golfer, even if you're not. Um, chances are, if you're not playing on a tour course or some kind of really good tournament, all you're going to have in here is a scorecard, but the gallery doesn't know that. They're going to think that you're looking at yardages, notes that you took, things that you like. Just make it look like you know what you're doing. Um, what I like to do is uh, keep two yardage books in my pocket. It makes me look like I'm really a big deal, even though uh, this other one has nothing in it, and this one just has a sticky note with a little reminder on how to look even better than I usually do. So I would definitely invest in a pair of sunglasses. Even if you don't wear sunglasses, still buy them, still wear them every day. If you don't wear them, just put them on the back of your head like this. It'll help your appearance a little bit. It'll make you look like you, maybe you have an Oakley deal and you're supposed to be wearing them even though you don't want to wear them on your face because you know yourself better than that. Hopefully these tips help you out and make you look like you're a better golfer. Um, I have no idea how to make you an actual better golfer, but I hope this helps you bridge the gap between you and some of the better players you play with as far as appearance goes.